and we're going to select our brush tool and we're going to set the opacity to about 50 percent and we're going to zoom it in just and you have to customize it to the size of each gap so I'm going to do this gap first and I'm just going to go around the outer rims and it has to be really bright at the core so you're going to do that there Bam. and then you're going to do that around the rims here get a small the brush here a little bit smaller and go around as I said it comes through here I'm going to zoom in just to be a little more accurate a little more accurate and we'll there we go see what I'm doing you can see what I'm doing you know I accidentally clicked there I'm gonna erase that there we go everything has to be smooth keep that in mind no jagged edges unless it's the shadows because light does cast shadows and if you don't keep that in mind by the end of the tutorial you will see that it just makes things look awkward that's why we use the dodge tool so as you can see I'm just going up here there's a gap right there I'm gonna make that pretty bright and you know maybe a little bit there honestly there we go and that takes care of the basic issue there let's create a really bright glow right there like it's just beaming through <laughs> that is nice <laughs> that is nice now the next thing we're gonna do is add the overall lighting over the render so we have our glow there and the next thing that we're gonna do is create a new layer and this is gonna be above the glow and let's just call this over light and what you're gonna do is select the brush tool again and make this a really large brush and this is where you gotta be generous very generous take your time and uh, let's go make that a little bit larger just one click at a time guys one click at a time make sure the glows the lights from the background layer here that we have the uh, background light make sure it all fades together because those pixels are gonna blend and if you have to yeah I'm gonna select the background light and I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger see now we're talking there we go and go back to our overlight layer there there and you don't want to add too much glow because the glow is only gonna happen at the base only gonna happen at the base and uh, there we go now we're gonna add the lighting down here at the bottom for the clouds because this is coming out of a bright spot behind here and it just looks a little bit awkward we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna call this over whatever cloud light just gotta name it something that uh, makes the slightest bit of sense gonna bring this down a little bit you can see what I'm doing that sharp edge of the clouds we're just gonna blend it in with the light <laughs> everything has to flow keep that in mind everything has to flow and don't want to keep that yeah you don't want to go overboard you do want to keep your clouds in there and I am gonna set the opacity up here to about 20% go over the base just lighten it up so it's not so sharp there we go now the light is just flowing upwards that's what I'm talking about okay so over cloud light now go back here zoom out and as you can see <laughs> that was pretty fast but you know what this is bothering me down here as you can see guys we have a general concept for our lighting now what you can do what you can do is if you so choose hit control L on your clouds layer or whatever you have guys whatever you have a backdrop a photograph bring up the lights you can bring that up bring that up just a bit and then go over it 
We're going to go back to our over cloud light because we're going over the clouds with our brush. And it set it to 20%. You always want things to fade. Always want things to fade. You don't want anything to not fade because the eye will notice that. And hold down your key here. And you can only go over it once. So take your time. Take your time. As you can see, this blends a little too fast, so we're going to be blending it. There we go. Down here. There we go. And we're going to be bringing this up. This should be a little whiter. Click. And this is just going to take time and practice. You'll probably end up clicking too many times. If so, just hit Control Z and Control Alt Z to go back in your history. And now you have to bring the brush down in size a bit. And I'm going to set this to about 25% opacity. Just go in here. Really make it fade. You don't want to go over your render too much. Not too much. Let's go here. And set this back down to an opacity of 10%. Gonna be getting a little more detailed. Up the size of the brush, diameter. Really just wanna make things blend. So always go back and forth with your brush, your opacity, lowering the intensity of the opacity in value percentage because that's going to give the fade out effect of the light. As you can see here, this is still really full blown bright. So you want it to fade. You want it to fade good. So what we're going to do is go behind the render now so we don't go over the render too much. We're going to go behind the render and we're going to go back and create another and just call this touch up. Touch up background. Now we're behind the render and we're just making that really bright so that we created at the beginning. We're making it fade. This is the great thing about digital art. You can toggle layers. In fact, the great thing about digital art is that you can have layers alone. And bam. Now I am going to mess with the clouds down here since we did go a little more white and that's okay. I am going to mess with the clouds down here at the bottom where it's coming through. And what I'm going to do, let's just see if this works. I'm going to go back to my over clouds because that's over the render. And let's mess with the saturation. This is just me messing around. There we go. Pull down the saturation. And then maybe up the lights. As I said, be generous. Very generous. If I go full blown, you can't even see the clouds. It's a joke. So you do want to see the shape of the clouds. In fact, I'm going to, to get that shape out, I'm going to hit Control L instead after the desaturation. And I'm going to pull down the dark tones and then up the whites. There we go. So we can still get that shape of the cloud. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, do I want to do anything behind here? I do. I'm going to up the brush, still at 10% opacity. And let's go back to our Control Z there. I went over the layer on accident. We're going to go back to our touch-up background layer. As I said, just make this fade. And gradients, I wish it would work in this in, you know, the scenario. I really wish it would work, but it just doesn't. <laughs> it just doesn't. You'll be sitting here all day trying to get the right angle of gradients. You have to just mess with the opacity in the brush. Got to. Absolutely got to. Okay. It's looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good. Now the next thing we're going to do with the render is we're going to select the render dodge layer and we're going to duplicate it. We're going to call this overlay 